Hello and welcome to Blossom Schoolhouse. Today I am reviewing the Masterbooks Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 1. I reviewed the Masterbooks Math Level K a while back so you can check that video out as well if you want to. Level 1 is the next level up from the Level K. As I mentioned in my previous video of the Level K, Masterbooks make very gentle yet full curriculums that don't feel overwhelming with short lessons that don't take long to complete. And the level one is no exception, but obviously it is a step up from the level K. So as well as the copy work, shapes, counting and numbers zero to nine, there's now numbers zero to 100, addition and subtraction, introduction to fractions, learning to tell the time and place value. There's also tally marks and skip counting by twos, fives and tens. So let's look inside. At the front we have the scope and sequence which lays out the 36 lessons, the last six of which are reviews of everything they've been learning. Just like the level K, each lesson begins with a story, introducing the math concept and then there are five exercises to complete over a five day week. Now the exercises laid out for each day don't usually take my child too long, so generally we ended up doing two or three days of work at once. Then there is some useful information about the course, how to use it and tips and suggestions. Then there's a suggested daily schedule too, which we didn't use, but it is handy if you want it. And then there's lesson one. As with every week, it starts with a story, introducing the two characters featured throughout, which are two children, a girl and a boy, and they are homeschooled. The story also introduces the math concept you'll be focusing on that week and then is followed by five days of work. And then on to lesson two or week two. The whole course continues like that, which I like because you know what you're getting. Of course, the math concept varies each week, but as you continue, you keep going over the same things you've learned previously too, so the child masters the concepts. There's quite a lot of copy work involved, which is usually copying out their numbers and the two, five and 10 times tables, which is great for familiarity. I like the approach that Masterbooks takes with math. There's no learning one thing and then moving on. It continues to go over and over the same concepts, even when introducing new ones. This is especially good for my children who can tend to learn something and then if not practiced, it will just soon be forgotten. This is the mastery approach that gives Masterbooks their name. Most weeks there'll be some coloring and sometimes even a fun activity to do at the end of the week too. There's a great introduction to telling the time, which starts with the child learning and mastering to skip count by fives, which helps with telling the minutes on a clock before they get to this part. They learn the basic skill of telling time to the hour too, but that's it for this level. Level two is where they'll be focusing more on time. So this is just an introduction to the basic understanding of time at this point. The whole book is perforated, so you can tear the sheets out if you want to, but we never really felt the need to do this. At the back of the book, you'll also find lots of manipulatives to be torn out and laminated, but if you can't laminate, you can just pop them into plastic wallets. There's a place value village, which has a ones house, tens house and a hundreds house, which they can color in before laminating and cutting out. They use this a lot throughout the course for place value. So laminating is the more durable option, but you could just color and then cut them out if you don't have a laminator. The only problem is if they were to be ruined, there aren't any spares. There may be an option to download and print them somewhere, but I'm not aware if there is. If anyone knows of that option, then please leave a comment below. You also get a nice amount of other useful tear outs, including a 100 chart, which is a double sided with a blank chart on the back, an addition mat, also double sided, and a clock that the child assembles and colors themselves. They even get to make their own math fact flashcards. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I have found myself many times in the past feeling the urge to skip ahead of flashcard making or cutting out and making parts in the lessons. But I decided that I wouldn't do that with this book and actually it's paid off so much. 
the flashcards don't have to be fancy. I mean, I had some spare index cards, but you can just simply cut up cardstock or paper into flashcard sized squares. Just let them write their math facts and just keep them in a pile tucked in the book. You can hole punch the corners and tie them with string too. I have no major cons with this math curriculum. It's jam packed yet gentle. The lessons are simple but intentional. It's been a really great second math curriculum for Miss Five and she started using it in September and has no complaints. In fact, just like with the level K, she would choose to do this book above other lessons and subjects. She is almost finished with this book with just a few lessons left to complete. As I mentioned, the last six lessons are purely review work, which I think is a really great way of checking that your child has learned enough from the book to move on to the next level or if they need more practice. I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Stay tuned for more reviews and if homeschool content is your thing, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.